The Mexican Chamber of Deputies approved in general on Wednesday the reform of the judicial branch by 359 votes in favor and 135 against after a session that lasted 11 hours. The session took place in an alternate headquarters due to protests that tried to prevent the session. The reform aims at democratizing the judicial system in the country by, among other things, establishing the election of ministers, judges and magistrates and other public positions through popular vote as well as the reduction of their term in office. Furthermore, under the principles of Republican austerity, it intends to put a stop to the excessive and onerous expenses of the judiciary. During his speech this Wednesday morning, the president of Mexico, Andres Manuel López Obrador, celebrated the approval of the reform that will go to the Senate. Well. Ah, well, it is very good news, very good news. It passes already to the Senate, 357 against 130. How much was needed? 334. Yes, very good. During her intervention in the President's morning program, Elizabeth Garcia Vilchis affirmed that they have repeatedly denied scandals against the reform in the past. They created a scandal in social networks and WhatsApp groups to try to deceive people, and so it goes. This is the fifth time that in this section we deny this fake news. They don't get tired of their deceiving attempts. In this context, Garcia Vilches went on to further deny the scandals and false news published against the reform in the media and social networks since September 3rd. Last Tuesday morning, September 3rd, a sort of synchronized swim in lies happened against the reform to the Constitution of Mexico City regarding private, public and social property as it was repeated everywhere that with the entry into force of this reform, private property would disappear in Mexico City, and that the owners of houses, apartments, or land would be obliged to hand them over to the government, or else the administration could expropriate them, but all of this is false. <laughs> 